Welcome back and we continue in this tutorial on our previous tutorial that is about blocks and in this one we're going to be looking at the global function of blocks. The previous one we saved the block and that we can reuse again in the future but what is a global block? Right, let's bring in a block first here and remember that I had showed you earlier that you can go to saved and you can load your own block. This is the one that we had saved earlier. Now, if I'm going to use a block on different pages, but I'm going to change the content drastically, like I'm going to change the title or I'm going to change the image, then saved is saved block is your best option to go. But what if I want to have a block where the content remains exactly the same across my site, not only my page, but across my entire site? Wouldn't that be awesome and the answer is yes that would be awesome and i'm going to show you in regards to the current version of brizzy how you can actually make your own header with that so let's make a new block and i'm going to mm, delete this yes delete it but then in the end i'm going to bring in two columns which is by default the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go up here and i'm going to make this block full I generally love a full stretched block. Up here, I'm going to drag an image element and I'm just going to grab a random image from the selection I have already in there. Let's use this one. I'm going to do a full page demo or a full page how to build later on this. So that would be nice anyway. And then grab it all the way up here. And then let's go to our sliders, make this 100% now that we have got it there and oh no not 10 percent a hundred percent and then from here i'm going to reduce the size okay so there i have my logo and over then oops now we have to increase it again bit by bit right and let's change the background color just a little bit for fun background let's make it yeah let's make it that color and now i'm going to create my own menu and I'm going to do that by dragging in a button. And I'm going to call this, for example, a very typical kind of button. The first one will be about. And then what I'm going to do is remove the icon. I'm going to leave it like that. And watch what I'm going to do next. It is just amazing. I'm going to click on duplicate and it's going to put the next button next to it. So here I'm going to have services. And then I'm going to duplicate and on this one, I'm going to make it our blog and I'm going to call it news. And then the final one is going to be, you guessed it, contact us. And what I'm going to do is look at this. If I press on the align, I can align it to the right. And then I'm going to go to my blog and I'm going to increase my pop up padding. But wait a minute, where am I now? No, not my block, my column more settings and then I'm going to increase my padding a little bit from this side. Okay, this is very, very simple, but you have an idea. This is something that you can do. Let's make it a little bit more smaller. And actually, no, I'm going to bring it back to boxed so that we can bring those things a little bit closer to each other. Of course, this is not nicely aligned, but wait, we can fix that. Ah, oh, look at that. Wow, what did I just do? I created my own menu. But wait, JP, how am I going to get this menu on each and every page? And this is where the global block may just come in very, very handy. Let me show you. I'm going to go to the slider all the way to the left, and I'm going to activate Make It Global. After I've activated it, you will see there is a little icon, earth icon, that appears here. And this icon tells me that this is a global block. Now, what makes the global block different from a saved block? First thing, if you go to add a new block, a global block is saved under global. Again, it has the same problem at the moment that it says started from scratch. There's no way for us to rename it, but for now, I accept it, we're going to get those updates. If I click on it, it gives me, of course, a duplicate. And again, you tell me, but wait, JP, 
Why is this different than saved? And here is why it is different. Let's say I decide that I want to change the background of my original one. I go here, I click on background, go to image, and I choose this background. And it's going to load. And look what happens. Let me put another block in between there so that we can just have some separation between these guys. All right, let's get all of that out of there. Make it right. And I'm going to remove now the color, which is an overlay. And the only way to remove the overlay is to reduce the opacity. Do you see how instant that is? It is really terrific. Now I decide also, uh, you know, my company, we never do anything new. I don't have news. Let's remove this from here. We can put it in the footer. So I click on this one and I delete it. And instantly it is deleted. This happens anywhere on your site. So it doesn't only have to be this page. It can be on other pages as well. And any change you make is instant. This is really spectacular. This is really great. So if you were not in the mood for using a theme at this moment, or you wanted to do your own header because you maybe don't have a post page that you rely on at this moment, this is a great workaround, even for your footer. So if you change your color scheme later and you think, I want to change this blue and I want to make it uh, another color, let's go to, and I'm going to copy that hex so we can use it on the others. Look at that. It's instant update. This is incredible. I love it. Did I say I love it? I love it a lot. And this is great. One thing though, maybe you decide later that, okay, this one here, I want to keep it as is, but for the other one, I want to change the background. So for every page, I want the header actually to have a different background. Can I do it? Yes, but no. And the reason you can do it is that you go back here to your slider, you go all the way to the block and you uncheck, make it global. At this moment, it will unlink it. So you will see there's no more little icon up here, but this one still has. Now you can change this one. Let's say you go and change the image, put in another image and it will update that one and it will not update this one. So you can now change one and it won't affect the other one. However, and that is the but no, you cannot reconnect them later. This is an interesting thing that maybe we can see and ask the Brizzy guys, hey, is it possible that we can have this feature in the future? But I don't know how we're going to do that. But even if I decide now to make this one global again, if I make it global, now it is a separate global block. It's not connected to this one anymore. So if I go back to this one and I give this one an overlay, you see it only affects this one and not this one. But you see there are two global signs and that's because there are two global blocks now. And you will see that here at global, both of them. Unfortunately, we don't know which one is which. I think the last one that you made global is the one on the right. So if I click on this one, it should give us the last one. Yes, and there you go. So now you can again make changes. Another thing you have to take into consideration is that though this one now is your original block and this one is your new block, you can make changes to either of them. So if I decide I want to make this logo bigger, it's going to do that to the previous block as well. Right. That is how awesome global blocks are. Is, are, is, global blocks. Blocks are. There we go. <laughs> I hope this was uh, something that valuable that you can understand more about global blocks. As you know, I've shown you that there is still a lot of updates that need to happen to both the saved and global blocks feature. But I believe two powerful, mega powerful features once they are fully operational. So thank you, Brizzy. Keep it up and give us more.